Hello everybody. Um, Rose and I are down at the Museum Collection Centre today because one of the other projects that we'll be working on is assessing the silver storage. And we're doing that because some of the curators have some concerns about the silver tarnishing. Um, so what Rose and I are going to be doing is assessing the store, looking at potential areas that may cause tarnishing. Uh, this could be off-gassing of other materials that causes the silver to tarnish. It could be changes in the humidity. It could be dust on the surface of the objects that's absorbing moisture and then starting the tarnish. It could be from handling of the silver in the past um, that maybe has not been cleaned before being put back into storage and the tarnish has happened uh, subsequently. So one of the first things we do when we're working in the store is make sure we've got enough space to work uh, and everywhere is tidy. So at the moment, um, Emily, Rose and myself will just be cleaning the space within the store to make sure we've got enough room to carry out our work. So Rose, could you explain to us how you're going to be monitoring for pollutants in the store? Yeah, basically we have little tokens of silver, copper and lead. You just cut little squares of the different materials um, and one side um, will be covered with a tarnish protection layer so we can compare basically the colour change as you may be able to see and I'm going to check this on a regular basis to see um, if there's any change and how long it would take for them to tarnish basically. So Rose, how are we going to be monitoring the environment in the store because we said that could affect the rate of tarnishing? Um, basically, we've got these um, little handheld uh, mobile loggers, um, which we also um, spread throughout the store. Um, these are set to record every 15 minutes, um, and they basically monitor relative humidity and temperature. Um, and again, we're trying to analyse whether there are any humidity pockets within the store, which um, obviously are not ideal because that can support the tarnishing process. Okay, so you'll be uh, monitoring and downloading those regularly when you check your, your yes, um, tokens? Yes, they will be downloaded onto a computer. So we mentioned that we'd show you some of the um, tarnished silver, but we thought we'd start with showing you the silver and how we'd like to keep the surface with the beautiful sheen. But unfortunately some of the pieces have tarnished. I think you can see the, the colour change there. So, you know, we want to improve the storage for the longevity of the objects because it's not ideal to be cleaning the silver all the time uh, as you can wear off some of the patterns. So um, we will be giving you updates of how the work's progressing.